When you first join the game, you'll be treated to 2,000 starting funds. Whilst it might be tempting to buy something cool looking like night vision goggles, ignore doing this. Instead, it's more practical to buy a better weapon, as the MTCNA2 is not a good starting weapon. I'd recommend buying the MTCNA4, as it has a 3 round burst and a semi auto mode, and is fairly customizable for a starting gun. It will also leave you with enough funds to get practical equipment such as scopes and grips. Always ensure you leave at least 100 funds in your account to purchase a vehicle. When all said and done and you're happy with your weapon, you can go and play. Upon first joining, you'll be greeted to a menu like this. Try and wait for the map to load in as it helps you to pinpoint where you're going to spawn. Once you have loaded in, walk into this room. Here, you can find various pieces of kit that can help you throughout your playthroughs. The only important piece here is the frag grenade. Walk up to the table it is on and press F by default to equip it. Once you have the frag grenade in your fourth utility slot, you can freely use it outside of safe zones by using the number 4 on your keypad to equip it and left clicking to throw it. You can click the grenade 5 second fuse as much as needed. Head over in this direction to the vehicle depot and access one of the screens to purchase your first vehicle, the Jeep. Press F to access the menu and click on the Purchase Vehicles tab. Here, click on the 4x4 option and purchase it. Then, you can request one as long as it isn't destroyed. You can also sell your vehicle for 50% of its original price or repair it should it sustain damage in battle. After requesting the drop off, the 4x4 should appear in front of you. Walk to the front left door and press F to get into the driver's seat. Your character should get in. After this, drive using WASD and leave the airbase. Follow where I go to reach the easiest location in the airbase's local area. Once you arrive, park in a logical and safe place, then press F to dismount your vehicle. Then, equip your primary. Survey the immediate area for signs of danger. BRO5 uses a stealth mechanic where enemies become alerted to the player's actions based on sight and sound. Players later on may choose to purchase a silencer for their weapon to mitigate the sound aspect. AI will have differing visibilities at day and night, regardless of the player's cosmetics. At night, AI will have a low visibility complemented by their torches being turned on, permitting a short cone of light in front of them. At day, their visibility is higher and they spot you faster. If you are spotted, AI will either flee if they are in short numbers or aggressively push if they are in larger numbers and the alarm will be raised. Reinforcements from the base will soon arrive to support their actions. After the first few enemies fall, they'll arrive in greater numbers. Outside of the base, it is safe and ideal to use grenades as there are no hostages. Inside of the base, avoid using grenades due to the presence of hostages that will be killed by the blast. Hostages being killed by the player lowers your reputation and costs you money. More on reputation later. As you press deeper into enemy base, they will take defensive stances and will shoot at you from behind cover and elevated positions. It is ideal to aim for the head to conserve ammo here. You can also change the semi-automatic fire by pressing V. Over time, you may take damage. Retreat to a safe position out of immediate danger and hold tab to access the action menu. Use the bottom tab to find your health utilities. Dressings give you 5 health, but coupling them with a bandage will give you bonus health. Vitamins give you 100 health over a short period of time. Certain bases, desert included, will have hostages. Rescuing hostages will get you a good amount of cash as well as reputation. Killing hostages reduces reputation and money. You can leap up to 2 hostages at one time due to balancing issues. Once you have 2 hostages following you, you can leave the base and head back to your vehicle. Don't get too far from hostages or else they will stop following you. Once you get into your vehicle, the hostages should get behind you. Once everyone is in your vehicle, drive back to the airbase to route the reward. Hostages need to be dropped off at the processing station inside the airbase. Once you're familiar with the game, you should go back into the menu using this point in the airbase. Navigate to the loadout section and select your primary. If you are able to get over a thousand credits through grinding, you can purchase either a new optic or a silencer. Silencers are best as you are able to get extra cash if you kill an enemy whilst remaining undetected. Or you can get a long range 4x scope to see enemies from further away. 
Once you've made your choice, go back to the map overview and respawn at the coastal town of Sacrina City, where you can get NPC quests. Quests are a great way to unlock equipment as you get money for doing menial tasks. You should spawn at one of two outposts outside the town. You'll ideally want to make your way to the port, where there is an NPC waiting to give you easy quests. Major Thomas Quill is part of the British contingency on Rodegrad Island, and he is in charge of logistics. Quill will always give you delivery quests, driving from A to B with supplies. If you do enough of these quests, you can unlock arguably the second best recall grip in the game, as well as an MTP camouflage uniform. Once you've reached the docks, look for the NPC icon, which is a question mark inside of a yellow outline. Approach this and talk to the man with the blue beret. You should select the left option where he will offer you a quest. This will despawn your current vehicle, but spawn you in a Humvee. Get in and follow the game's directions. Here we can see that I need to attach a trailer of water to the Humvee and deliver it to a forward outpost. Drive to where the market is and reverse into the dolly trailer. After some fiddling, this should attach the trailer. Then, all you need to do is deliver this to your destination. If you do not know the map, it is ideal to have a map at hand showing you the locations. A convenient map can be found on the community fandom.